Thank you for being a supportive member of the American Chiropractic Association. We appreciate your support. It means the world to us, and it really gives us opportunities to advance chiropractic that we wouldn't have otherwise. We have a window of opportunity right now for our profession and our patients, and it comes to us because of healthcare reform and all the changes that are happening in healthcare. None of us really know exactly where all this reform is going to end up, but we do know that it's going to bring a number of changes to our healthcare system. And change brings opportunity. And there are tens of millions more patients who could be receiving access to chiropractic care. We have a new non discrimination provision in healthcare reform law championed by our good friend. Senator Tom Harkin from Iowa. Our National Association of Chiropractic Attorneys has called that provision or that law historic and far-reaching. It will help to level the health care playing field once and for all and stop the discrimination against doctors of chiropractic and our patients. And you helped to give us the resources so that we could make that possible. We've also reached historic levels of agreement in the profession through the Chiropractic Summit, which the ACA initiated back in September of 2007. Since that time, we've grown to 40 organizations. The lead organizations are the American Chiropractic Association, the Association of Chiropractic Colleges, the Congress of Chiropractic State Associations, and, and the International Chiropractors Association. Together with 36 other groups, we have met 14 times over the last four years and reached unanimous agreement on the critical issues we face as a profession and the strategies we should employ to surmount those issues. This is an historic window of opportunity. A non-discrimination provision on a federal level, uh, uh, the highest agreement of the profession that we've ever had over a four-year period of time, economics of change in health care and much discussion and debate going on in what the appropriate changes are. The Chiropractic Summit has developed one message for us to carry across the country as a profession. Again, unprecedented. When you give one message to decision makers, it's much easier for them to put that message into action. But we're a small profession with limited resources, so we'll continue to need your help. And if you would, you could help us in a couple more ways. One would be to talk about the activities, the goals, and this window of opportunity that we have right now in the profession, and the importance of being a member of ACA, being part of the team. If you can encourage a few of your friends and colleagues to join you to join the National Association, that will give us the resources needed to get the job done. And number two would be to really focus on doing everything you can to support the ChiroVoice database effort. We're building a database of chiropractic advocates, patients, chiropractic staff members, uh, vendors, chiropractic doctors, just all of our supporters. So when we send an action alert out to send messages to Capitol Hill, that tens of thousands of messages will be sent in support of freedom of choice in health care and chiropractic coverage. So those two things would really help us. You're making a major difference by just giving us your support as a member of ACA. And again, I want to tell you that we greatly appreciate that support. Thank you so much. Hopefully you can help us with these other two efforts and help us to take chiropractic to the front line of healthcare and move our profession to the top. Thank you and God bless.